I think like kind of one of the inspirations or like the motivating factors for us creating this team was kind of like almost a lack of climbing culture on campus, at least for undergraduates. So we talked to a lot of different people, big, like we kind of got to know the whole structure of like student groups and club sports and like how they balance out. So that was definitely like an education. Um, so like we're now officially a club sport, so that's really exciting. But in the future, I think we definitely um, want to grow, maybe get a coach. There's going to be a new uh, climbing gym in the fall, so that's really exciting for us. When I got to Stanford, Andy Lamb had contacted me about uh, climbing more often, and we realized that you know there there are a lot of people who who really like this, and we had to figure out how we wanted to do funding, how we wanted to schedule practices, when to do practices. Um, how to do competitions, which competitions to do. Uh, so there was definitely a lot of, of planning involved. In just a couple weeks, we're going to start competing in collegiate climbing series. And uh, we'll see where that takes us in the competitive scene. We practice twice a week for two hours each time. And um, we start off with like a little bit of just warming up, traversing, and stretching. And then usually we do have two drills, which are um, sometimes we do endurance drills, like laps, or we just do several laps on the same route, or um, other like strength things, like a pull-up pyramid. So just like things that make you really, really tired. And then we usually end with some core. Yeah, um, well, we're super excited because they're opening a much bigger gym in September um, at the gym near Robley. That's going to have four times the surface area, I think, of this one. So that'll be great because um, hopefully we can grow the team and have more space to practice without you know, falling on top of each other. Yeah, we've had we have people ranging from not necessarily first time climbers, but people that have come to the gym a few times and really enjoy the sport and join the team just because they want to improve and they want to have an organized way to improve, you know, organized practices. Ranging all the way up through people who obviously competed in high school and still compete now. It's cool to have everyone working together because, you know, the more experienced climbers can give the beginners different insight on different movements, different uh, body positioning, and the beginners can really learn from that. Um, and it just provides a really good environment for people to get better and improve.